In this video, we'll learn how to attach a wall to a roof, and we'll use our elevator shaft as our example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this wall really quick. Let's say we went with this wall here. Now, we're going to attach this to the bottom of this roof, but I want to show you something real quick. So if I scroll down here, and this is that information component in BIM. So I know that when I highlight that wall, I have an area and I have a volume. So my area is 1610 square feet, and my volume is 1073.33. Well, watch what happens to these values when I use the attach tool to atta attach this to my roof. So, just make sure your wall is highlighted. And in the modify wall area, we have a simple tool that's going to allow us to either, either attach or detach something to a top or a base. In our case, we want to take this wall that's kind of extruded up a little bit too far to the top surface of this roof, and we want it to connect on the bottom surface of the roof. So I'm going to go to attach bottom. Now that I have my element highlighted, I've selected my attach tool. Now I just need to select the element. If I look down here at my status bar, it'll tell me exactly what I need to do. Select the roof, floor, or ceiling, or parallel walls that I should connect to. So I'm going to go ahead and select my roof. Boom. Now watch what happened to those values. You see they changed. Our area decreased and our volume decreased because the height of this wall decreased. And all those height definitely will affect the formula that creates these two values. So that's just a little peek at what the information component uh, while you're modeling as well. So let's quickly go ahead and take care of the rest of these walls. I'm going to go ahead and select any wall, attach to roof. Same thing with this one. I'm going to select the wall, attach to the roof. And my last one, I'm going to select the wall, attach to the roof. Easy, easy, easy. Simple stuff. But the really important thing to know is, one, how to do it where the tool is, but also how it's going to affect the